A hidden Hanukkah tale of a woman, an army, and some killer cheese. At Hanukkah, many Jewish families celebrate with foods such as latkes and donuts that are fried in oil. The tradition honors the story of the miracle that occurred when a one-day supply of oil burned for eight days. Some Jews also eat dishes like kugel, cheesecake, or rugelach that all share one ingredient, cheese. But how did cheese make it onto the holiday menu? It starts, as many of these tales do, with a woman. This woman was Judith. Judith was said to be a beautiful widow who lived in the town of Bethulia in Israel during the 6th century BC. An army set siege on the town, and Judith went into the enemy camp to meet with their leader, Holofernes, a general for Nebuchadnezzar, king of the Assyrians. Holofernes was so charmed by the widow that he drank too much wine and passed out, after which Judith took his sword and cut off his head. The severed head inspired the Israelites to attack, and the Assyrians fled. The story may sound familiar to Christians, as the book of Judith is included in the Old Testament of their Bible. But Judith didn't make it into the Tanakh, a collection of Jewish scripture that includes the Torah. However, by the Middle Ages, Jews were telling a Judith tale, says Susan Weingarten, a scholar of Talmudic food in Israel and a contributor to the book, The Sword of Judith. By the Middle Ages, the story of Judith had become associated with Hanukkah, despite her story occurring centuries before. In Jewish versions of the story passed down orally through the centuries, Judith often became the aunt or daughter of Judah Maccabee, the hero of the Hanukkah story. Her addition may have served as a parallel to that of Esther, the heroine of the spring holiday Purim. The Jewish tales of Judith also made their heroine clever. In the original story, Judith brought a doggy bag of food with her, items like dry fig cake and bread. And she shared her food with the general, including a salty item guaranteed to make her enemy thirsty enough to get drunk, cheese. By the 14th century, there's quite a strong tradition that people eat cheese on Hanukkah, and it's associated with Judith giving cheese to the enemy to make him drunk. During the Middle Ages, the cheese would have likely come from a goat or sheep, as cow's milk cheese was rare, and it was often cooked into a pancake. Which brings us to another potentially shocking revelation. The original latkes were cheese latkes, not potato. The potato, after all, didn't come to Europe until well after Columbus came to America. Potato latkes were a 19th century invention, says Gil Marx, author of the Encyclopedia of Jewish Food. The cheese tradition may have died out in part because in Northern and Eastern Europe, where frying was often done in chicken fat, putting cheese into a pancake wasn't allowed by Jewish dietary laws. So why aren't many modern Jews telling tales of Judith and munching on cheese latkes? Mark says in the US, where December is dominated by Christmas, Hanukkah changed from being a minor holiday to a much bigger celebration marked by gift giving. And along the way to this transformation, the story of Judith and the tradition of cheese eating was largely forgotten. In Rome, though, Jews still make pancakes with ricotta for Hanukkah, and many Jews in Israel, particularly from Orthodox families, continue to carry out the Judith tradition. Even in the U.S., many of the foods that Jews eat for the holiday contain cheese or milk. Cream-filled donuts honor both the dairy and fried traditions, for instance. And many homes will have a noodle kogel or blintzes or cheesecake. The reason why has just been forgotten. Until now, Chag Sameach.